there is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and welcome to In Order. This is the way the module looks. What we have here is we have a series of four directional arrow buttons, which will be used for our submission. We have a display up in the top left, which is going to be the information that we're going to note down, as well as a word in the bottom, which we're going to note down as well. Um, the stage up, at the, the stage counter will be up at the top. In this case, one. That will always be one, two, or whatever it is, based off of the stage. So this is the boss module, as I've mentioned beforehand. And what we're going to be taking a look at is we're going to be taking a look at the information in the top left and bottom middle of this module. We're not going to focus on the arrows until the end, because that's how we're going to submit the mod. So, um, so what we're going to do is to solve the module for each stage. You must get a number from the number inside the shape, the shape itself, and the color of the shape. And we're going to use these. Uh, we're going to use these tables here, table A, uh, and the table B, and, and table C here, to get the information to actually solve the module. So. We're going to add these numbers together. The sum, uh, it, uh, the sum will be found on table B, which we're going to do uh, by noting down the number that we get, in this case, 9, the shape and the color of the shape. So we're going to do 9. It's an oval, and it's brown. We're going to add these three numbers together, 2, 7, and 5. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 15, and 5 is 14. And now what we're going to do is that the sum is not within the range of 1 to 8 inclusive. We're going to subtract n from the number until you get a number between 1 through 8, inclusive, uh, and n being the number obtained from the phrase being shown at the bottom of the display. So in this case, we had a total of 14 from these three uh, portions of the stage. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the word by down at the bottom here. And the number that n will be is the one that's right of the phrase shown in the module. So we've got by right here, which corresponds to the number 6. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to subtract 6 from 14, until we get in between uh, in, the, in between the numbers 1 through 8 inclusive. And what we're going to do then, so we're going to do 14 minus 6. It does, it, do, it does go into the range of 1 through 8, 8 inclusive. Now with that number, what we're going to do is we're going to go to table A. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the arrow that we're going to correspond to. In this case, 8 gives us left. And that's the stage that works for them. That. And that's all there really is to it. Because... Uh, when you have a number, you're going to look at table A to find what arrow you need to be pressed. But wait, do not press any buttons yet. When all nonlinear modules have been solved, the displays on the module will go blank, and you will now be able to input the sequence of arrows. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple mod to do. So let's continue on. So we've got left for our first stage, and it's only going to be one button press uh, uh, each stage. Keep that in mind. Um, so let's get another one. And as you can see, it will disappear. Stage 2 will appear. A new word will potentially appear, as well as a new shape, number, and color. Um, so we've got two, we have a square, and we have, this looks like a purple. So uh, we have three and seven, which is 10, and eight is going to be 18. We have, more, it's more than it's more than one through eight. So in this case, we take a look at hey, uh, 18, as we said, modulo four, uh, is going to get us into the range with six. Six is going to give us a total of uh, right and that's going to be our answer for that stage. Fairly simple module, rinse and repeat. Uh, just make sure that it's not modulo 8 until it gets in the range of 1 through 8, unless you happen to get later. Um, but just make sure that the modulo that you're doing it is by some specific number, and make sure that once you get in the range, uh, say, for example, if you were to do a, uh, an 11 modulo 3, for example, it's not modulo 3 until it's below 3, which in this case would be 2. It's modulo 3 until it gets in, until it gets into the range of one through eight inclusive. In this case, that would be eight. Just figure to make sure that that we need we need to save that. Okay, so stage two is calculated. Let's get to the next one. We have eight red and oval. So eight um, oval and red. There's red. There it is. Uh, seven and seven fourteen plus five is nineteen. Nineteen modulo three, which is howdy. So 19 modulo 3 uh, is going to be a 7. 7 is going to give us a down. Okay. Continuing on, we have a 1. We have a hexagon, and we have white. Um, 646 six is going to be a total of 16. So 16 modulo howdy, in this case, modulo 3. 16 mod 3 is going to be a 7 once again. Cool. That's going to be down once again. Next up. We have a one, we have a circle, and we have yellow. Uh, circle, where are you? There you are, circle and yellow. Um, 11 is our total, and see ya. 
uh, is going to be our answer. So 11 modulo 7 is going to be 4. Our number is going to be uh, is going to be equal to left. Okay, let's go through the last few stages here. We've got two more. We have four. We have a rectangle, and it's white. And we're going to add eight, four, and two. Eight, two, and six. Excuse me. Eight, two, and six. My bad. Um, eight and two is ten. Plus six is sixteen. Sixteen modulo high, which in this case is two. 16 modulo high is going to be, uh, is going to just simply, simply be 8. 16 mod 2, as you can see, gets it to 8. And we are going to take a look at left. Next up, and for our last stage 2, uh, we have 7 rectangle green. Um, 10, 14, 14 uh, modulo C, yeah, 14 is going to be modulo 7, which is going to be equal to 7, which in this case is down. Now let's solve our last module, and as you can see, the displays will disappear, and now you will simply be able to input these with the keys here. So we're going to press left, right, down, down, then left, left, and then finally down. And just like that is a module solved. And that's all there really is to this boss. I'm going to go through one more example. It's a fairly simple one to understand, uh, and a fairly simple one to do, rinse, and repeat. Um, just make sure that the biggest trick is going to be making sure that you keep the number within the range of 1 through 8 and, mo and not modulating lower than, uh, like the example I gave, like 11 modulo 3, which in this case would be getting to 8, but in this case, you could modulo 3 down to 2. Just make sure that you don't mess that up. Um, that's really the only big issues that I would see with this mod. I'm going to do one more example, just for the sake of showing it off. Um, but that's all there really is to it. There really is not much else that needs to be explained about this mod. Um, just keep in mind that there is the possibility of the range being uh, 1 through 8. Uh, if you happen to get like a low enough number, like for example, 9, and diamond, and gray, for example, to pop up, that would total up to 7. That would be your answer. You would not want to modulo uh, at all. You do not care about that. If the range is not within the range of 1 through 8, that's when you do the end part. So... Let's get into one more example here. Let's see, what, let's see what else we can get. Maybe we can hit up for once. That would be quite nice. We did not touch that at all. <laughs> and that's all there really is to it. It's a fairly simple boss. It's not too hard to actually hit uh, and understand. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we have zero, we have a pentagon, and we have red. Uh, one, nine is 10. 17 is our total. We've got C. Okay, so 17 modulo seven is going to be a total of three. Three is going to give us right. Next stage. Uh, we have an eight. We have a pentagon again, and we've got black in this case. Uh, five, three, and eight is going to be five, and three is eight. Uh, plus nine, eight, eight and nine is going to be 17. 17 again. And uh, we have by, which is modulo six. Mod six is going to be a total of 5. In this case, we're going to be pressing up, finally. <laughs> Alright, next stage. We have a uh, 3, we have a square, and we have white. Uh, 6, 12, and 15. 15 modulo C yeah, is going to be 15 modulo 7. 15 mod 7 is an 8. 8 is in the range, therefore we're going to hit left. Okay. Next up, we have uh, we have a five. We've got a star. This is a star, and we have it in gray. Um, uh, four, three is seven. Seven and nine is going to be sixteen. Sixteen modulo C. Yeah, sixteen mod seven. Or excuse me, sixteen mod seven. My bad. Sixteen mod seven is going to be equal to two. Oh. Okay. <coughs> All right, next stage, we have a uh, seven, we have a triangle, and we have a seven, uh, excuse me, eight. Um, eight, 16, and 18. 18 modulo high, which is modulo two. That's gonna get us down to eight, which in this case is a left. Okay, next stage, we have a nine, we have a triangle and we have a purple. Okay, 816, 18 again, high again, it's exactly the same case, I think. 816, 18, 18 mod 2 is equal 
two, eight, two. Oh, so that is going to be equal to up. Okay, and our last stage that we're going to do is going to be equal to eight. It is a rectangle, and it is brown. Okay. Uh, five, ten, twelve, twelve modulo later, twelve modulo eight is equal to four. Four, in this case, corresponds to a left or a left direction. Let's solve this last module, and now let's input the stages. We have right, up, left, up, left, up, Why? and left. Excuse me? Um, let's see what is wrong. Maybe I just did something wrong. Nine, triangle, and purple. What did I do wrong? Eight, sixteen, and it's modulo high. Oh, did I accidentally misclick, for example? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then maybe just misclick. Because that's... Yeah, how did I mess that up? It's left, and it's left. There we go. Yeah, I, I must have just typoed there. I don't know how I did that. I'm... Well, we're going to ignore that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all there really is to this module. A fairly simple solving process, and really not much else to explain. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>